Hey everyone, how's it going? Masky here. The game in the background is, of course, Batman Arkham City, and today we are going to be, well, I'm going to be discussing uh, my thoughts and my opinions on the game, so, you know, what I like, what I don't like, what I think they did well, what, what I think they could have done better, all that, and there's a bonus in this video, as there's another Achievement Get video in this. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Mystery Stalker achievement, which is actually not the easiest one to get, but it's worth 15 gamer score, so I wanted to show you guys that one. Um, so let's get started. As we know, Batman Arkham City is the sequel to Batman Arkham Asylum, which in my opinion was one of the best games of 2009. Now, Batman Arkham City is... Developed by Rocksteady Studios and published by Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment and Square Enix Japan. Now, this game uses the Unreal Engine 3, which uh, I, th I think it's good. It looks beautiful. I mean, a lot of games use this. And uh, actually, before I continue, I want to mention that none of the footage you're going to see is actual main storyline stuff. Because I didn't want to spoil anything of the main storyline. It's all side quest stuff, so don't don't worry about spoilers too much unless you uh, are really concerned about the uh, side quests. If if that's the case, just uh, have the volume on and do something else on the internet while you listen. So now back on topic. Um, what I like about this game most actually is the, the open styled world. I mean, you can go. Anywhere you want, at pretty much almost any time in the game, you don't have to just go from mission to mission to mission. And the, the world isn't that big, so it's not like a huge world like Grand Theft Auto or, um, you know, Just Cause, any of those games. It, it's, it's a lot smaller, like, I'm talking a lot smaller than that. Bigger than Arkham Asylum. But smaller than like your average GTA slash open world game. Um, but you backtrack through a lot of the places a lot, and you're gonna notice yourself backtracking through it, like through most of the places, if not all of them, all the time. Mainly because you have to go back and you have to get like all the Riddler trophies and you know all the Riddler trophies for Catwoman and Batman. Um, and you need certain tools which you may not have yet to get some of them so you really have to backtrack a lot and that's not a problem I, I like that because it, it adds a lot to the game and I mean this game has a lot to do it has the main storyline which is amazing I really like it uh, Paul Dini was a writer for the game or he wrote the game and I, I think the writing for the game is amazing so uh I really like the work that he did in this game. Uh, this game so far is one of my favorite games of 2011, and it's probably going to be on my top five list by the end of the year. So, the writing is great, and the graphics are amazing. I mean, look at look at the footage. Uh, it's HD footage, so it, it looks it looks great. Um, considering it was made with Unreal Engine 3, which is a really good engine, but I mean, I mean there's better visual engines out there that they could have used, but I, I think this works perfect. Um, now, I, I'm playing the Xbox 360 version of the game, uh, but I played the PS3 version of Arkham Asylum. I, I'm not finding a difference at all. I, I don't prefer one system over the other, I like them both equally, but um, I've been noticing it in the fighting in this game. Uh, it's a bit more difficult for me to counter the moves, and you have to be a bit quicker with your, with your fighting. And I find it harder to get really big combos. I mean, I've been trying to get the uh, 50 time 15 time multiplier achievement for a while now, but I, I just haven't been able to do it yet. Uh, I think it's just that I haven't found the right group of enemies to do it. I mean, these rabbits—well, not really rabbits. The Mad Hatter uh, goons, I guess we can call them. Stop him. Uh, they're kind of a bit more difficult and whatnot, but they're not. They, they don't fight with weapons, which made it a bit easy. Although I'm pretty sure I die the first time but because of uh, <laughs> my bad skill at the game, I guess. But uh, 
more about the fighting style, the, com the way you do the f combat in this game. I really like the combat. I, I think it flows really well. Um, but it, it's really repetitive. You you do the same moves over and over and over again, which I mean you couldn't really get away with them doing something different. But it would have been nice to have a, just a few more moves. But it, it's it's good. I like the whole uh, you know counter system with the lightning bolt type things over the head. Although when you go through on game mode plus, which is unlocked after you beat the the story mode of the game. Uh, it gets rid of that and the game actually gets harder and I, I can't wait to do that because I'm just having a blast with this game. Um, my goal is to get every achievement in the game. Um, and I, you know what, I'm like a quarter of the way done. Uh, I've shown quite a few videos, achievement get videos, two, and then there's going to be this one, so that's going to be three. But um, I've been waiting for this game for the longest time, ever since it was announced. Um, at the Spike Video Game Awards, I mean, I've just been waiting for it forever. <laughs> it seems like forever. I mean, this game was announced so long ago, and it had more trailers than any other game that I have ever played. I mean, it's it was just ridiculous. But uh, I, I like how they kept coming out with, uh, you know, concept images, well, the character and villain images, and... Uh, all, all the trailers, I think they were really nice, and how every villain or character in the game had his or her own trailer. I mean, it was great. And I've played as Batwoman the first time in the game so far. Well, no, twice. I've played the first time against uh, Two-Face, which is the very start, pretty much. And then I, I played him. the next time after that when you're going to... I believe her name's Ivy's um, place to get her help. And, you know, Catwoman's pretty fun to play as. I, I like being able to play as someone else. Uh, I ha don't have the Robin DLC yet, but I do plan on getting that. Because it has, a, I believe, two achievements of its own. And I, I want to get all the achievements that I can. Oh, sorry, I was just uh, taking a drink. I was talking, dry throat. Yeah. So, um, I do get another achievement in this I believe I believe I get one for beating the Mad Hatter after I take it all his goons and him but I, I really like the design and the look of all the villains and all the characters in general um, I, li I like the way Mr. Freeze looked and I the Joker looks amazing in this game the voice acting is superb um, I like how the game has a main plot and a subplot. So, like, there's there's the main storyline that, you know, people are going to want to beat to find out what, what happens. And it's a really interesting and well-written storyline. And then you got the, the side plot, well, the subplot, not the side plot, which gives you all the side missions. Um, and that, that I really like, too, because it gives you the feel that, you know, you're going to be fighting a lot more villains, and it, not they're not just all tied into the, the, the main plot of the game. They're all, there's the side plot, well, ah, I keep saying side plot, keep getting side missions and subplot mixed up as a uh, side plot, but the, the subplot, and I, I just really like that, like, the Mad Hatter, who I just took out in the video, uh, he's a subplot guy, you know, like, there we go, achievement unlocked, 15 gamer score, stop the clock. So I guess you kind of get two um, achievement gets in this video. You get that one, which is beat the Mad Hatter's side quest. and But I'm not really going to count that as an achievement get. Then you get the other one, the Mystery Stalker, which we go over in like the last 10 minutes of the video. So, yeah. Um, the... Uh, the detective mode, that's what I wanted to talk about next. Uh, there's the detective mode in the game, and it, it was in the first game, and it was really well in the first game, and it was really useful for fights. I really like that. But I, I really like it in this game, too. Uh, there's a side mission for Deadshot, and you have to actually find bullet pr trajectories and all, all, all that evidence stuff, like where the bullet hit, where it came from shell casings and you know I, it's it's really in depth and I, I really like what they did with that 
Um, what do I, what do I want to talk about next? Here, here it is here, detective mode. Uh, another thing I like about this game is right at the start you get the local surveillance chip and you put it in your bat suit so that you can hear the local surveillance and you do this with more and more stuff later on. And every now and then you're just going to be like flying, well not flying, you can't fly, gliding around Arkham City and all of a sudden you're going to hear, you know, see this thing on the side of your screen pop up. And actually right now, here's the first part of the Mystery Stalker. You have to find this guy. So I think I opened up my map so you'll see the location. So just pause the video, go to the location, or like, you know, mark it down, whatever. And then that's the first part. So that's step one of it. So right there, I, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you should be able to see it in the video, if not full screen the video. Uh, watch it in HD, it'll be a lot easier. So that's the first Mystery Stalker guy. There's, uh, I believe, four of them. And then it gives you an image that you have to, that it puts together and you have to locate the right space. Um, it actually took some thinking to try and figure out where uh, all the guys were, actually. And to be honest, I really wanted to get it, so I kind of sort of used a map for help, but... I just wanted to give you the guys this video so that you guys could see how it's done really easily and get the achievement because uh, lately I've been really big on achievements and <laughs> I just want all of them. So as you can see in the video you can probably see you know Batman's suit has all these like cuts and uh, gashes and whatnot you got like cuts on your face that's exposed and the cape is all torn and whatnot and I, I like that. I like how the character changes as and get looks like he's actually been beat up a bit as the game progresses and it gets more and more the more you play the game which I, I like they did in the first game and it was awesome because it makes you feel like you know Batman and well it doesn't really make you feel anything basically it reminds you Batman isn't invincible I mean he's not Superman he, he's not gonna heal and he, he's not not any superhero he's a superhero yes but He's just an ordinary person with like crazy combat training, lots of money, and a mission to save Gotham, basically. And I, I like that. That's that what makes uh, Batman one of my favorite uh, superheroes there is. Besides Superman, although Superman, there isn't any really good Superman games, like the Batman games, but hopefully one day, I'm going to hang in there for that. But for now, we're going to have to stick with Batman, which, you know, is fine by me. Rocksteady did a great minute, job with this game. Um, oh, what else is there to talk about this? I still got like 15 minutes left. Let's see. Uh, side missions, as you can see there, there's like a lot of them, and you can go through and you can track them. Uh, this gives me the first part of the image there for the Mystery Stalker achievement. And then... This is the guy. He's a mystery. St he is the mystery stalker. Don't know anything about him yet, but we we, we find out more about him. Um, now this is an open world action video game, and when I say action, this game is full of action. You know, you got your batarangs, your remote control batarangs. You got the explosive gel. You have all the tools from the first game plus more. Uh, you get one from Mr. Freeze, and it allows you like freeze stuff. And I haven't used it much, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, you get like Sonic batarangs, and you can actually uh, get a re you can actually do a reverse batarang throw. So it you th you lock onto the guy, you throw it, it goes past him, and then it cycles back and hits him in the back of the head. And it's actually really useful if they've taken a hostage. Um, now as uh, Now this this game has a large uh, ensemble of cast members for the characters, and they're they're all from the history of the Batman comics. Uh, we have the Joker. Well, first of all, let's start with Batman. We have Batman, uh, by uh, Kevin Conroy, voiced I believe, and then we have the Joker, Mark Hamill. We got the Riddler, Wally Wingert. We have Poison Ivy. Uh, Tasia Valenza, I don't think I pronounced that first name right, but 
Yeah, we have Quincy Sharp, which is uh, Tom Kane. We have Victor Zaz or Sazaz, whatever it is, by uh, Danny Jacobs and Jack Ryder by James Horan. And then uh, Bane actually returns in this game as a side quest. And except for you don't know, fight him in this one, he's actually an ally. And uh, Harley Quinn's in this game, you know, that, that was to be expected. Joker's in it, Harley Quinn's going to be in it. So, and they they kind of gave Harley an update which, look, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, Robin actually pops into the game uh, so far once in my playing, and Robin looks pretty awesome. Ugh. Commissioner Gordon, I believe his voice is in the game. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't really remember. Now, th this game takes place a year after Arkham Asylum. Uh, basically, Quincy Sharp, former warden of Arkham Asylum, he took credit for stopping the Joker's Asylum takeover. And then he used that notoriety to become mayor of Gotham City. And then he deemed Arkham a black gate penitentiary no longer suitable to contain the city's criminals and insane so sharp has both the facilities closed and buys out a large section of gotham slums and then he basically converts them into an immense open air prison named arkham city and then he gives control of arkham city to hugo strange which uh when you play the game you find out that quincy should have really uh, thought that out a bit more before he went and did that. That's, That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh. The the development of the game's story and concept started in February 2009. Teams were brought in from the Arkham Asylum team and they developed the, as they complete, yeah, completed to work on the game. Now, uh, they did a great job. You have the smoke pellets that are in the game, it's a lot easier to get around and people with guns and whatnot. And uh, actually, the marketing of this game, there was a limited six-issue monthly comic series, also titled Batman Arkham City. It was re released on May 11, 2011, and the series bridges the plot between the first game and the second game. And it's actually written uh, by Paul Dini as well, so it, it's all... Really great stuff. You should read it. It. I thought it was really good. Um, I really like gliding in this game. I, I thought it was gonna feel a lot, you know, choppier, but it's actually really smooth. And the controls in this game are awesome. You can go from gliding to batarang, and then if you decide you want to just use the batarang to get some speed, you just glide, batarang, uh, press B to let go of the batarang, and then glide further, and it really picks up speed. Um, I I love the look of the city. You, you you can look at the sky and you see the moon, you see uh, the the bat image in the sky, which looks awesome. You see Riddler stuff all over the place. I mean, there's so many trophies. One of the achievements, I don't remember the name of it, actually. One second, let me just get that. Um, it's called Perfect Night Day 2. Basically, it's, you get 75 gamer score. It's, you have to beat the main story, you have to beat all the side missions, you have to get all the upgrades, you have to get all the collectibles, plus you have to do New Game Plus and Riddler's Revenge as Batman, which is ridiculous. I mean, that is so much work. And um, I believe this is the third guy for the Mystery Stalker, which means we have one more. So we are almost done. We have three of the four images, which is awesome. But... Uh, the DLC for the Catwoman bundle, which actually comes with the game, as well as a DLC code for a Batman suit, is uh, really nice as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called the Dark Knight Returns suit, something like that. But the DLC Catwoman bundle costs 800 Microsoft points if you uh, bought the game, if you buy Batman Arkham City used. Uh, it comes with six achievements, a total of 150 gamer score. Nowhere near the total of the of the actual Arkham City's gamer score, but it's it's good. Um, and there's like a hundred and eight medals 
on the original Arkham City campaigns that you can get as Catwoman. And that, that's crazy. It, it's crazy. That, that's a lot. And then you there's the Robin Bundle Pack, which also which is only 560 Microsoft points. Only two achievements with 50, and they're both worth 25 points each. Uh, total of 50 points. Um, they're basically just collecting medals. So they're not as fun to do, and they're going to take you a lot longer. But the achievements in this game are fairly easy to get. Um, right now, I've gotten, right now my count is at 18, which gives me a total of 230 points out of the 1,200 possible points that this game can get, which is uh, pretty good. Um, now, I didn't pre order the game or anything. I went out like a week after it came out and bought it because uh, I didn't have the cash right away. But it was worth it. It was worth every penny. Now, if you remember the catch achievement get video, you were going to want to go there. This is the same guy. He's on top of the, the Ferris wheel, but you actually have to go there. So make sure you do catch before you do this one, or else the guys disappear and you will have to find some other guy to do the catch achievement with, which just makes things a lot difficult. Now, at this point, we've talked to all four, and the four symbols on your map are going to overlay and make this weird uh, create a master shape, and it actually like took it me a while to figure out what I had to do. So th there's actually some part of this video where I'm not really doing anything, which is alright. I was trying to figure out what to do. I didn't know how to do it, and eventually it just kind of comes to your mind there's the four locations and if you rotate the symbol and make it a bit larger it actually fits over each mini circle fits over one of the locations so that's how you do that and it actually brings you to a location right by the church so just so you know that it's just so you guys already know because it takes me a while to do it in the video but I like side missions like this. this. I like the puzzle aspect of this game, the the riddles, the challenges. I I, I really like that. Um, there during the launch week of the game, there was uh, quite a few problems actually. Uh, DLC codes came like without the code on the 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 piece of paper that comes in your game. Uh, some people were really upset that the game didn't actually come with a manual. Uh, instead, it came with like basically a brochure for their store so you could it showed you merchandise that you could buy online and then it and it comes with this piece of paper and it's just like a you open it and you open it and there's nothing in there and it just tells you you know Xbox some Xbox live stuff connecting family settings uh tells you about the exclusive playable character Catwoman and how to unlock her and then it's, it says that the credits in the online manual, you can, if you want to, to see the full online manual, you actually have to go to the BatmanArkhamCity.com website in order to see the manual. Now, I, for one, I like having a actual, you know, readable copy of the manual. It's really useful, especially with games that have uh, large install times, like Rage. You can just, you know, flip through the manual, find out about, you know, the history and the lore of the game itself, and I, I just kind of felt ripped off that I didn't get it. You're still paying, we're playing full price, $60 for games that used to, that used to come with manuals, and everything was packaged correctly, but we, we got, we don't even get a manual, and I mean, I guess it kind of saves paper, but it doesn't really feel like paper, it feels like, you know, a plasticky kind of paper anyways. So I, I didn't really like that, but I mean it's just something that you kind of have to deal with. And uh, in in the game also when you buy it new, you get a Gotham City Imposters beta key. Um, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of MMO that they're doing. So I, I'm gonna probably check that out, but I'm not the sure. Have marked a point on the map of Arkham City. Uh, this code. It gives you a chance into the beta, and you get free Batman Arkham City themed content. But uh, I don't know. I'm from what I've seen of that game, it doesn't look too good. But so I found the location, and now we're gonna go there. But I die. I actually die from all these snipers that are placed around uh, the mill area of the game because the Joker's got that locked down at the part of the game I'm at. 
But I die and then I just get there anyways when I get back up. Which is alright. I am a lot smarter about it the second time. I should have realized that I was going to get killed. What I do is actually really, really stupid. Uh, see, I got shot right there. And then there. And I'm going to get shot a hell of a lot. But, so, overall, Batman Arkham City is in my top five list for the year. Uh, now, I'm not going to give it a rating. I'm done rating games for a while. I just, I just, I'm going to give my opinions on games that I play. Um, but I'm not going to rate the games. Um, now, actually, while I was filming this commentary, I was actually, uh, when I was editing all the stuff, like the beginning intro of the video and whatnot, I was recording stuff for the I Am Maskey 2 channel, which is where I upload like a whole bunch of behind the scenes and bonus footage and videos and whatnot and updates for the main channel because I want to keep the main channel uh, as gaming related as possible so that is what I am doing so go there subscribe there too so that you can see all the behind the scenes stuff some editing stuff you know fun stuff like that but overall now I'm now I said I'm not gonna review the game and I meant that I'm not going to review it, but I'm going to read some review scores I, and other people get it now. Uh, 1up.com gave them give the game an A. Uh, Electric Gaming Monthly gave it a 10 out of 10. Eurogamer 9 out of 10. Game Informer 10 out of 10. Game Pro 5 out of 5. It's just 9s and 10s and like 9.3s and whatnot. The, the lowest rating for the game is a 9 and the highest is a 10 with a 9.3 and a 9.5 in between. And then there's an A, so you can give that what you want. Uh, but yeah, this game was amazing. It just did well. Um, it comes out on PC next month. I'll probably get it for PC too, just to try it. But yeah, I, I, I don't think it's worth waiting. If you're a big Batman fan, just go out buy it for the console. It's worth it. It works really well on console. The controls will work great um I, I definitely recommend buying this and not renting it this is something that you want to buy and spend hours with just you know hours with this game so now's the part where we're at the church and along the side wall you scan that image and this dude will just come sliding down like a ninja and he, he's gonna I say some stuff to me. you it wasn't hard you left and me basically mad. he's some Who part of some kind of secret want? society why are you watching me and we then this is where you're going to unlock names, the achievement. But you will come to know me as Azriel, loyal servant to the Order of St. Dumas. Now, Just the Batman Arkham City another it has society. its original video I game score, so the soundtrack. The There's 19 Batman. tracks on it. it it's got a total length of 52 minutes and 50 you seconds. You can actually... I'm pretty sure you can actually you buy the soundtrack. And in doing uh, so, which is pretty awesome. That you cannot stop. I'd recommend it. There's the the also arc, the Batman the Arkham City, and the album, burn, and which uh, I think it came with. Too. And then you can buy it on iTunes. I don't believe in fairy which you get some tales. bonus tracks. And then there was a collector's the edition bonus delivered. track too. We will meet again. But so <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up buying that. And there you go. You got your achievement. Uh, achievement unlocked, 15 gamer score, Mystery Stalker. Uh, it's a pretty easy achievement to get, but it just takes some time. It's time consuming. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.